Hey, my lovelies, and welcome to the fifth day of our workshop. I'm very sorry that you cannot see me. It's the time for me to change the laptop from the new year. But I'm here with you. And today we are going to talk about the toxins in your home. So number one, straight to the point, mattress. Almost every mattress is made in chemical um, flame retarded treatments. It's basically the treatments that is supposed to uh, make all your mattress uh, flame resistant. And during this process, uh, they release chemicals called PBDE. And those chemicals then be shown to cause thyroid, liver and potentially cancer. Uh, this is very important because, as you know, many ender girls have also problems with thyroid. It's all linked together. So the worst materials when it comes to your mattress to avoid is the one that you can see with the very strange uh, name of polyurethane foam and synthetic latex. So if you see this one in your mattress ingredients, literally avoid Choose one that are toxic free and that are uh, being tested for low or to no VOL emission. Okay, VOL emission. So this is how you can protect yourself. Another thing is the pillows. They are made uh, from the same as the mattress, uh, you know, uh, things. Um, it can affect your skin and cause dermatitis. The, the chemicals used in the pillows does not affect your hormones, but the UK research found 16 different uh, strains of fungi. The most dangerous is the one that is called Asperogilis fumigatus, and it can cause respiratory problems and even asthma. So this one is to keep in mind, okay? Then we've got another one, which is your clothes. Oh, this one is the big ones. Not just your clothes and the materials, because you know, some of them, uh, they are clothes that are made from the recycled plastic even. I've got the hoodie that is made from the recycled plastic. I didn't know that because it feels absolutely normally. But the thing what I want to talk to you about is actually fabric softeners. They are the worst products for your health. And I've been using them for a very, very long time. And uh, girls are using fabric softeners even uh, when they're washing the clothes of the small babies. There is the, some compounds uh, inside the fabric softeners. It's like literally a language breaker. It's called Quatermori Anmorium Compounds. And it basically, this is the things that makes your clothes feel soft, but can trigger asthma and harm your repro reproductive problems. So this is the direct link when it comes to your um, hormones, okay? The next one, shower curtains. They are made uh, from uh, plastic. And uh, plastic contains uh, many chemicals that I call the VOCS, Vox, for example. Uh, and the issue with the shower curtain, you don't want to breathe, you know, all the chemicals that are released uh, when, uh, when it comes to the heat when you bath. Because they can affect your hormones and cause reproductive system related problems. So what you do, you replace all the vinyl shower curtains with no vinyl ones. So look for the ones that are PVC free. Okay, PVC free. Very important. Then my lovelies, we've got um, air fresheners. Oh, this one is the big ones because whoever knows me knows that I love my smells. <laughs> so the air fresheners uh, uh, not only release box, so it's the same uh, as the shower curtains, you know, chemicals, but they also uh, produce chemicals known as secondary pollutants. Those secondary pollutants alter hormonal level and damage our nervous system. 
manufacturers are not required to specify what the fragrance means. And if you remember, I've been talking to you about all the perfumes, the fragrance in the label can actually mean that this specific thing contains more than a hundred different unspecified unregulated ingredients so it's the same when it comes to air fresheners and when we are to air fresheners the next one are candles yes girls and you are thinking like Yola, what's left i'm gonna tell you what you can swap don't you worry <laughs> so the candles at least 24 of the chemicals found in candles are toxic. And that's all the candles from the big brands like Yankee Candles to the cheap ones. So what you can do, you can swap them for the coconut oil or beeswax candles that are not releasing this uh, pollutants and horrible uh, chemicals. Or instead of using air uh, fresheners or air freshener plugs, you can use essential oil diffusers. You've got like those diffusers lamp that they cost like, I don't know, 20 pounds on Amazon. So just use um, essential oils instead. There are a few more, like, for example, the carpets. Do you remember the new carpet smell? Yes, this is the chemicals you are actually smelling. So that's the carpet. Another very strange one, which I didn't know, is the shaving cream. <laughs> Foamy, slippery, you know, so the lasers can glide through, through the screen. And those shaving creams are um, having a lot of a mix of chemicals called phyllo for lacil substances. And in short, they are called PFAS. They are also called forever chemicals because they don't break down. That means um, if they either stay on your skin or when you flush them with the water, they are, will be floating in the water. Those chemicals don't break down. Many contain fragrances and benze benzeo or benz benzeno, which is carcinogenic. You see, even I can't pronounce it. That means if you cannot pronounce the ingredients, it means it's chemical. It's the pure chemistry over there. It's not natural, so just avoid it. Okay, so what you can do instead when it comes to uh, shaving creams that many of us are using, shave with aloe vera gel or use coconut oil. It will slide and it will shave uh, literally uh, the same and it's more uh, healthy for you and for your hormones. And now we have big ones, which is the food storage containers. Uh, that includes also the water bottles and all non-stick cookware. So let's first talk about the food storage containers. And the water bottles, they are uh, very bad because they contain BPA, which is bisperol A, which must be the most well-known toxin in the plastic. They cause the hormonal issues and reduce fertility. Do you remember on TikTok, that was the water bottle like for $1 or for one pound, two liters, avoid it. It's full of horrible, horrible plastic. Uh, you have to uh, look for the plus, the water bottle or the containers that are BPA free. You know, some of them already have the stickers that they are BPA free and they are BPA free certified. So just choose them, okay? They also affect your fertility. So be very, very mindful. Um, and what is the substitute when it comes to food storage? The only one is the glass. So just store your food in the glasses because that's the only thing. And if you're packing like the uh, breakfast or something, do it like old school way and just literally wrap it in the paper instead of putting to the container. And you have to, if you have to do like lunch boxes, just make sure they are BPA free. Okay. And uh, almost the last one, we've got nonstick cookware. They also contain PFO, which is the long thing that I cannot pronounce, which is perfo, perfo leuro acid. 
is basically linked to the hormone disruption and even cancer. Nylon cooking uh, utensils are often made with PVC, uh, the same shit as the shower curtains, <laughs> and they are they are disturbing your hormones as well. So what you can do instead, use all wood or bamboo cookware. Everything plastic has to go. So this is basically how can you make your home a uh, kind of hormone friendly. Also be careful with the furniture because some of the cabinets are also uh, coated with the chemicals and with the same things that are uh, made, uh, that are, uh, shower curtains are made and the same things that they are using in the carpet to preserve the, the furniture. Oh, so that's it. This is the end of our five days workshop. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, I managed to connect the dots for you. And now you know, now you know, if you've been thinking, why me? What have I done to deserve it? Why endometriosis came to my life? Endo is hormonal related illness. I hope that now after those five days, you managed to see the things that you've been doing, maybe even unknowingly, probably. <laughs> so, and you know what to do to avoid all of this. If you found it helpful, please share it with every single Indo girl, because it's something what the doctors are not telling us. And it took me literally 20 years to put my endometriosis into remission. This is something that every single Indo girl need to know. I want to wish you every the best in the new 2023 and a happy new year and have a lovely and blessed Christmas. Thank you for being with me for this year. I appreciate you so much. And I'm gutted you cannot even see my face now because of this stupid laptop that I'm going to replace. Anyways, I'm going to see you in the first week of 2023. I love you so much. Thank you for being there with me and see you very shortly. Bye-bye.